Alright, what's up guys? Hartos YouTube here, and today I'm going to be covering on how to use XM6, the X6-8000 emulator. Now, just to make sure, this is my first emulator tutorial video, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to help a lot of people. Now, to explain on why am I doing this, a guy from my comment section was kind of having problems with the em uh, retroarch version of the emulator, and uh, so he requests on uh, how to do pretty much uh, do emulator tutorial videos so I'm doing that now but without further ado let's begin alright first thing that you're going to do you're going to, have to, you're going to have to grab the emulator and it should be on the link once you open that you should get a website like this it's going to show everything now with this it's going to show screenshots and whatnot it's going to show other things alright but that's not what we're here for um, for this video, I'm going to be covering the automatic installation. Now, what you're going to have to do is download and extract the emulator. should be right here. Now, once you have that downloaded, we can get into the next step. All right, so we have made it to the next step. Now, uh, once you extract the folder, there should be three things. There's going to be scripts on uh, what you need to download the shiz. But uh, what we're going to need, you're going to open up this batch file right here called Download XM6 Pro 68K. Uh, don't worry about this. Uh, this is not a virus, so you're going to be fine. Now, all you just need to do is press Enter on the command prop, and this is going to do its thing. I'm just going to take, it, it's really fast, so it won't take long. Now everything's done, we can press any key to continue, and it's going to open up automatically. So yeah, this is the emulator. And we're going to get into the next step. So, the final step basically, I'm going to cover up a couple of settings. I don't really know how to use all the settings here, so it's going to be fine. So, uh, what are we going to do next? Uh, we're going to go to options. And then we're going to go to sound. You're going to... My, I recommend putting the sample rate in the 44.1k hertz because uh, if you use anything higher than that, at least with me, uh, you get a lot of sound problems. So you don't want to really mess with that. Next thing is you're going to set your joystick if you use a joystick. Uh, there's like a lot of ports to choose from, but for this tutorial, I'm going to choose Atari with start and select. And uh, you can choose uh, what button you want to have, button 1 and button 2 with. But yeah, but that's if you know uh, how to set them up and stuff. But yeah, it's already set for me. So, and the final thing we're going to have to do. And this is an optional thing, but if your computer's really bad to the fact that the game is lagging, I recommend putting this in high priority. Uh, all right, but the final thing is, uh, get rid of stretching and effects. It's gonna mess with the screen a bit. Man, now, how to open the game? Perfect step. Now you're gonna open this. Now for this, uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Akamojo Dracula for this game. Uh, I'm not gonna put a download link in the description, but I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of Sharpie Six Eight Thousand floppy disk somewhere so yeah for uh, floppy drive number zero you're gonna you're gonna open disk one and for floppy drive one you're gonna open up disk two now it's gonna load the game and then uh, I'm gonna skip the loading for this video so you guys don't have to wait but uh just to let you know for these type of uh, games uh, there's gonna be some loading BMG for like almost every game, some of the games don't really have it. But once it's done, uh, you're gonna get something like this. All right, so we're back. The game is just loaded, and we have the whole emulator set up. And that was pretty much for this video. Um, if you guys uh, like the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know on what other emulators you want me to cover. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.